We have some medical news for you now. There may be new hope for those dealing with paralysis after a stroke. Yeah, in the last two decades, deep brain stimulation helped people with movement conditions such as Parkinson's disease, tremors, epilepsy, even obsessive compulsive disorder. Now they're testing to see if it can help stroke patients restore movement. And as our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins tells us, the initial results look promising. Picking up the remote, something most take for granted. But after a stroke six years ago, Stan Shipkoski could hardly walk, let alone use his left arm. He entered a clinical trial at Cleveland Clinic to see if deep brain stimulation, or DBS, might make a difference. It gave me gradual movement. You know, it wasn't immediate. It, 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 was, it took time. Twelve patients, including Stan, had electrodes implanted into the brain and attached to a pacemaker-like device. Electrical impulses stimulate brain cells and help patients recover movement. It worked in nine of the twelve. Probably a 30 to 40 percent recovery. And to see the benefit that that patient was able to achieve was uh, remarkable. The treatment was paired with intense physical therapy, and then, unlike other conditions, the device was removed. What we're trying to do is promote uh, an environment where the brain can continue or re re uh, resume uh, its own recovery process. And we're trying to enhance that process. Stan says even though the results took several months, he's regained independence and hopes others can experience the same. I think it's groundbreaking. I think it's... Uh going to help a lot of people. Now, this was the first phase of the trial. It was just to determine if the procedure was safe, which it did. So right now, it's only focusing on those with upper extremity paralysis from stroke. But now they've started the second phase with more patients, and we'll be watching to see if those results can be duplicated or even improved, Christy. Fingers crossed. We know you're on it, Monica. Thank you.